Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're talking about Roy Winkler and his failed attempt to win the Mr. Olympia 2019. Not only that he didn't win it, but he barely cracked the top 5, he was dealing the top 3. He was the crowd's favorite, he was last year's People's Champ. By winning that People's Champion award, the first one ever, it was obvious that he has a lot of fans. So, coming to the Mr. Olympia 2019, many, many people had him winning. I placed a couple of polls, voting polls on my community section, and he was leading. Him and Brandon, that was your top two. Most people thought so, and I was one of them. I really thought that the Roli may win the Mr. Olympia 2019. Of course, not only that he was crowd's favorite, he was also third place at a much more competitive Mr. Olympia lineup last year than it was 2019. So, in 2018, he was third place, behind very, very good version of Sean Roden, who was a very good bodybuilder, very complete bodybuilder, not on the level of Dorian Hayes, Tony Coleman, Jay Cutler, Phil Heath when they are at their prime, but very good bodybuilder, much better than most bodybuilders who were competing in 2019 Mr. Olympia, counting Rowley, especially this edition, and probably Brandon Curry. It's debatable, but I would say Sean is better bodybuilder. Anyways, Rowley Winkler. Last year, 2018, he looked amazing. He was shredded. He was really, really good. I mean, take a look at this. Much, much sharper version than 2019. Every single thing on his body looked better because of that conditioning. So, obviously, that's all he needed to bring if he wanted to win the Mr. Olympia. We all know that his lower back is his biggest weakness, and it is something that could stop him from winning the Mr. Olympia. But when he is shredded, it doesn't really look that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. When he gets dry, you can see some feathers, some striations, and it looks much, much better than when he's fat or watery. But still, I don't think that back would stop him from winning if he showed up like this. Uh, look at this. Look at his abs. Look at this abdominal development. The overall conditioning, those fine little details in his serratus, in his quads, in his inner thighs, in his lats, even in arms, he was just spot on 2018. If he showed up like this, this year, I am pretty sure he would win the Mr. Olympia. I don't think anybody could stop him. But what is done is done, and this is the video that I made two days out of Mr. Olympia. I noticed that he doesn't look conditioned, and I made a video about it. As you can see, it has a lot of dislikes, and it had a lot of negative comments, which I absolutely do not mind. Seeing a bunch of people commenting on my videos is really still unreal for me, but anyways, negative or positive, I like it. I like to see a lot of comments. So, with this one, I was right. I was right. And I was right with many things. You guys need to give me some credit. I predicted Brandon Curry winning it. I said Hardy will be at least top 4. I said Rolly will be off. I said Luke Sander will be probably out of top 6 and he'll probably be off. I said that Patrick Moore may surprise us pleasantly. So, I guess I do know a thing or two about bodybuilding. <laughs> anyways, Rolly Winkler, he was definitely off at the Mr. Olympia. That is no secret at this point. Now, was this just water? Or was it fat? I think it was a layer of fat. I don't think it was just water. If it was just water, he would get dry for the Yamamoto Pro Show or for the finals in the Mr. Olympia, but I don't think it was. I just think he didn't diet enough. And you guys that are always saying it's water, it's always water, it's not always water. You guys are giving these guys too much credit. They are sometimes soft because they don't diet hard enough. They think they can get shredded in 4 or 6 weeks, but they end up looking like water balloons. And compare this conditioning to Dorian Yates' conditioning. What do you think Dorian would say? Would he say this is just a little water retention? <laughs> there is no such excuse. This guy is just a little bit fat. A little bit more fat than he should be. But really, it doesn't matter what it is. The point that I'm trying to make is that he missed his shot. He had a shot to win the Mr. Olympia. Rather easily. It is the weakest lineup probably ever. Since the Dorian Yates era, the weakest lineup. Any Mr. Olympia from 1993 would beat, 1992 maybe even, would beat Brandon Curry or anybody else in the 2019 Mr. Olympia lineup. Yeah, I think so. This was the only shot so far that Rolly had to win the Mr. Olympia. Will he be able to win it when uh, Phil Heath comes back? When maybe when Sean Roden, Kai Green, Big Ramy, Flex Lewis come back. It's possible. It's still possible. Some people even had a role in beating Phil last year. 
And it does kind of make sense. If Phil actually lost to Sean because his stomach was a problem, then Rolly could have beaten him too, but that's a topic for another video. As for now, the point of this video is Rolly missed the shot this year. And it's really sad. It's really sad. I'm a huge fan of Rolly and his physique. He's a beast. He's a freak. And he didn't use the opportunity and he didn't win the Mr. Olympia. What is the reason? What is the excuse, actually? Is that hamstring injury? Is just his laziness, whatever it is, Rolly missed the mark. He lost and he didn't use the opportunity the best he could. And he took home Yamamoto Pro Show trophy instead of Sando. And that's his fault. What do you guys think? Do you think he will have another opportunity to win the Mr. Olympia? Or do you think it is too late for him? Do you think he missed the mark this year? Whatever you want to say about this video, tell me down below in the comment section. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more Mr. Olympia and all kinds of bodybuilding updates. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.